Hi there, this is Josh from Literary Gladiators, and today I'm here with a book haul. Uh, the place that I'm going to be uh, talking about today uh, is uh, a paperback exchange in Belmar, New Jersey. Uh, I did some research on bookstores in the state of New Jersey. I came across a paperback exchange, uh, and uh, Ari's mother said that it was a really good store, and after paying a visit there, uh, I enjoyed my visit and I ended up uh, getting a nice bundle of books while I was there. I really like the idea that they uh, it's a prevailing used bookstore and uh, the, uh, the books that are there come from uh, exchanges that uh, people have uh, engaged as the name of the store uh, denotes and then you can trade in for store credit. And I ended up getting I ended up getting 10 books uh, and the first of which that I got was Annapolis by William Martin. Uh, this is a work of historical fiction about uh, the people that have lived in Annapolis, Maryland through the years and all of the events that took place around them uh, and it really sounded uh, convincing, uh, very much uh, to the tune of a James uh, Mishner novel. Next thing that I got was The Intuitionist uh, by Colson Whitehead, uh, which I heard about him, uh, like many of other people, uh, uh, with his uh, Pulitzer Prize winning uh, novel, uh, The Underground Railroad. The Underground Railroad. Uh, this one seems more like uh, an action piece, uh, but I think that's just the uh, events that are taking place, and uh, either which way, uh, it's something that I'm uh, intrigued to check out. I got Ending Up by Kingsley Amis, uh, which I think that uh, New, York, uh, New York Review books uh, are really convincing in my mind. Uh, they always come out with very impressive titles. Uh, they uh, did some of uh, Robert Walzer's uh, novels. Uh, they published uh, Stoner by John Williams. And uh, they seem like they, uh, they pick very different but very brilliant uh, pieces. And this one uh, is... Uh, this one uh, follows the lives of uh, older people and uh, the happenings in their lives. And when you put a holiday in and uh, all of their uh, younger relatives uh, pay a visit to them. Next thing that I got is uh, Animals Make Us Human. Uh, creating the Best Life for Animals by... Uh, Temple Grandin uh, and Katherine Johnson. Uh, Temple Grandin is known most for Animals in Translation, uh, but uh, in this piece uh, she continues with that. Uh, uh, she continues with her uh, discussion and research about uh, uh, the uh, relationship that we have with animals and uh, how we can give them. Uh, a, uh, a better life, uh, and but one of her main uh, thing, uh, one of her main uh, accomplishments was uh, the more comfortable environment in slaughterhouses, uh, if there is any such thing. I got the, the Whale Warriors, The Battle at the Bottom of the World to Save the Planet's Largest Mammals by Peter Heller. And I think, and I'm getting, I'm really getting into the uh, discussion about uh, animals in, uh, just in general, uh, reality, uh, Animals in real life. I got uh, the soul of the octopus. I got something about uh, lobsters. Uh, someone who adopted uh, ravens. Uh, it'll be interesting to explore the uh, 
uh, efforts to uh, prevent uh, the uh, the unnecessary deaths and slaughter of uh, the whale population. Next thing that I got was Dewey, The Small Town Library Cat Who Touched the World by Vicki Myron with Brett Witter, uh, which this is just a really, it sounds like such a feel-good book because uh, it harps on our admiration for animals. Uh, and for me especially, uh, I have such a great admiration for my cats. Uh, to read about this one uh, is going to be uh, something that sounds like quite a delight. Next one I picked up was The Joke by Milan Kundera, which I feel, and this one was translated from uh, the Czech by uh, Michael Henry Hein. And uh, this is a pretty absurdist uh, piece uh, about somebody getting into trouble uh, for uh, saying uh, on a postcard, uh, optimism is the opium of the people, long live Trotsky. And uh, he, sa he, puts it, he says it in the wrong place at the wrong time, so he gets himself into quite some trouble. And that's where, the, where all of the adventures uh, take part. Next one that I got is Into Thin Air by John Krakauer, uh, which I've heard about him and uh, I've heard about heard about him and I've heard about uh, Into the Wild. Uh, this one explores uh, something different where uh, he talks about uh, uh, real life uh, events that took place in uh, on Mount Everest and how uh, terrifying uh, and disastrous they were. Next thing that I got was Heat by Arthur Herzog and this is a horrifying event about the world heating over uh, to the point that uh, it becomes unbearable. Uh, very much uh, taking climate change and putting it into a, uh, a really uh, on the edge of your seat work of horror, uh, which it also reminds me of that episode of The Twilight Zone where the world just kept getting hotter and hotter and hotter uh, to the point that the uh, the thermometer burst uh, uh, the the, uh, the the red uh, ink uh, burst out of the thermometer and uh, water had to be uh, uh, rationed and uh, I'll be really interested to see what kind of approach uh, this book takes and the last thing that I got was winter the Tragic Story of a Berlin Family, 1899 to 1945, by Len Dighton. Uh, I previously got another book of his uh, called uh, Violent Word, which happens to be right here. Uh, I have it right on this part of my shelf. Uh, that's one of them that I got for free at the uh, uh, Collingswood uh, flea market. But the... Uh, The story of Winter talks about a particular family, uh, uh, how they live their lives uh, into the early 20th century, and that length leading up to the Nazi regime uh, operated by Hitler uh, during World War II, and I'm really uh, curious to see what kind of uh, direction this uh, book takes. Alrighty, this is what I got while I was at a paperback exchange in Belmar. I really think that you should check it out, especially if you are visiting the uh, Belmar area. I think that uh, 
I would be interested in going back at some time, uh, and uh, I will leave information down below uh, if you want to learn more. Thank you for tuning into this video. I hope you check out more videos from our channel, and for now, keep reading.